Did you know that The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho is one of the best-selling books of all time, with over 150 million copies sold in 80 languages? Or that the author wrote the book in just two weeks, after having a vision of a boy who travels the world in search of a treasure? If you want to learn more about this amazing book and its inspiring message, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to give you a summary and analysis of The Alchemist, and show you how it can help you follow your dreams and listen to your heart. So let's get started. The Alchemist begins with Santiago having a recurring dream about a child who tells him to seek treasure at the foot of the Egyptian pyramids. He decides to consult a gypsy woman and a mysterious old man named Melchizedek, who both tell him to go to Egypt and pursue his personal legend, which is his true purpose in life. Melchizedek also gives him two stones, Urim and Thummim, to help him interpret omens along the way. Santiago sells his flock of sheep and buys a ticket to Tangier, in northern Africa, where his adventure begins. The Journey In Tangier, Santiago is robbed by a thief and loses all his money. He finds work at a crystal shop, where he learns from the merchant how to improve his business and save money for his trip. After a year, he joins a caravan that crosses the Sahara Desert towards Egypt. On the caravan, he meets an Englishman who is studying alchemy and wants to meet a famous alchemist who lives at an oasis. Santiago learns from the Englishman about the secrets of alchemy, such as the Emerald Tablet, the Philosopher's Stone, and the Elixir of Life, which are the ultimate creations of the alchemical art. The caravan arrives at the oasis of Alfaim where Santiago meets a beautiful girl named Fatima and falls in love with her. He also has a vision of an army attacking the oasis, which he warns the tribal chieftains about. They manage to defend the oasis from the invaders, and Santiago is rewarded for his courage. He also meets the alchemist, who offers to guide him to the pyramids and teach him more about the soul of the world, which is the universal spirit that connects everything. The Treasure Santiago and the alchemist leave the oasis and continue their journey through the desert. They encounter many dangers and challenges, such as tribal wars, sandstorms, and hostile soldiers. The alchemist shows Santiago how to perform miracles, such as turning himself into the wind and seeing the future. He also tells Santiago that he has to leave Fatima behind and complete his quest alone, because that is his personal legend. Santiago reaches the pyramids and begins to dig for his treasure, but he is attacked by some thieves who beat him and take his money. One of the thieves, however, reveals to Santiago that he had the same dream as him, but about a treasure buried under a sycamore tree in an abandoned church in Spain. Santiago realizes that this is where he started his journey, and that his treasure was there all along. He thanks the thief for the clue and returns to Spain, where he finds a chest of gold and jewels under the tree. He also plans to go back to the oasis and reunite with Fatima, who is waiting for him. The Alchemist is a book that teaches us to follow our dreams and listen to our hearts, no matter how hard or impossible they may seem. It also shows us that the journey is more important than the destination, and that we can learn from everyone and everything we encounter along the way. The book is full of wisdom and symbolism, and it has inspired millions of readers around the world. I hope you enjoyed this summary and learned something from it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more book summaries and insights. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.